This is part two of the Millen Falcon, I don't know what you call it, restoration or extreme makeover. So it's been four days now and uh, the guys over here have been working almost day and night on Millen Falcon. You can already see how shiny Millen Falcon is. So uh, Kim here, you're the boss, right? Correct. Yes, you, <laughs> you're going to show a little bit about what you guys did to fix Right, to fix things up. Right, yep. So first of all, I'm going to show you that, okay, in the front here, we have some tiny, those... Stone chips. Yeah, stone chips. The car has been bombarded. We're not going to fix that yet. Right. I mean, if you want to fix these stone chips, you're definitely going to have to repaint the whole hood unless you do a, a touch-up paint, but you're never going to get a good result out of that. Uh, the only uh, advantage of doing ch stone chips, that would be uh, corrosion or rust to keep that from coming. Well, I think it's, it's part of the charm to have a little bit of wear and tear, like this yep. license plate. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you guys probably noticed that this one is brand new. So just tesla.com, we could have, I could yeah, put anything else, anything else there. So um, one thing I noticed was the headlights here. What do you guys do with this one? Uh, we did a headlight restoration. We uh, uh, started with a, um, a low grid and, and uh, worked our way up, uh, polished it up, and then we installed a uh, PPF uh, film uh, from Lumar. Oh, Lumar. I love Lumar. Right. So there are some little bubbles here and there. Uh, that's just moisture since, the, uh, uh, since moisture will fall uh, after application because you apply this wet. So the, the, the little bubbles there, those will, those will go away on their own. And with the Lamar, it means that this is self-healing, just like I had on the MC Lamar. Right, Lamar. yes. Yeah, that, well, damn, that's awesome. Uh, uh, we did the exact same thing with the uh, fog lights. Yeah, what the but heck? <laughs> this was so, it was, like, it was frosted before. Right. Um, there's a limited amount of what, you know, what you can do with it. Uh, we did the best we could. Uh, you could get a better result. But uh, as, uh, as uh, Double G mentioned, uh, we'd have to take the fog light out. Oh. So let me see, let's check the other side. So I also remember the other side was also super, which is just frosted. It looks so much better now. And yeah, so you guys, you, know, you guys haven't really replaced that many parts. There's a few parts we're gonna come back to, but uh, the main thing is that we fix rather than throwing away. Correct. This is uh, elbow grease, I guess you could call it. So, okay, we have, okay, after these shots, I have to go outside and take a look at it and, and outside, but I will just show you how shiny Milena Falcon looks now. You see those swirls or those micro scratches? They are gone. Okay, let's see. Is there, yeah, oh, what the, look at this. You guys remember, it was just faded. Now you guys brought it back to life again. Yep. Was it like this when it was new or? I don't remember. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was, uh, uh, the gloss was, was there when you, when you got it new. How did you get it back like this? It's compound polishing. Uh, also uh, polishing with a, with a, a corn or grainy uh, polish uh, to basically sand it down and build it back up but with, with, a, uh, with polish. Uh, harder grid pads and and going up to softer and softer and softer So it's uh, there's several stages in the compound polishing process. Wow. I mean, okay It, it looks almost like new <laughs> But this is from 2013. It's always been with us Wow <laughs> Okay, and then Further here where well, we got the sticker on now. Mr. Green sticker. You had, we actually had to put on a new type, new set of sticker. Right. Yeah. Because um, if, if, if that was applied after uh, the ceramic coating, uh, you wouldn't get that film to stick. Um, so when we did the base coat, which is not hydrophobic, um, then uh, we applied it after that. And then we did the top coat, which is hydrophobic. Hmm, nice. And then I remember there was some kind of damage here. Well, okay, I can't see it. There was, it was here. I see a little bit now. It's almost gone. 
Right, and then also on this, yeah, this one, it's almost gone also. Yeah, so the, the, the touch of paint that was done there, uh, I think they used uh, a touch of paint that wasn't very close to the, uh, to the color. So what, what we did was we removed uh, the touch of paint that was, that was there and we applied uh, a more matching uh, color. Yeah, is it, I mean, okay, over here, you guys might be able to see it on camera, but the thing is that most people, they don't stare <laughs> at the wheel arch 20 centimeters away. So if you look at it from, let's say here, two meters away, you won't be able to spot it. You will just see the shininess of a Millennium Falcon instead. Wow, <laughs> really, really impressive so far. So here was some of the parts that you did replace, right? Correct. Um, the badging, uh, we did remove uh, to be able to do the compound polishing and, uh, and all the dirt that was stuck uh, behind there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we re reapplied new uh, badging. Okay, so this, this the P85 badge? And yes, the and the Model S. It has been replaced. And then also the DTEC right. badge here, just like yes. with... Uh, Optimus Prime, we have now have DTEC, uh, which variant was it again? Well, DTEC Ultra or something? Uh, ceramic Ultra, correct. It's a two comp treatment, so you have a base coat and then you have a top coat that binds with, uh, with the base coat. Uh, so you get a very durable, strong uh, ceramic coating. So some people also ask, this ceramic coating, will it protect against uh, minor damages? Well, that's the thing. See, ceramic, a ceramic treatment or any uh, any ceramic, whether it's Ceramic Pro, uh, whether it's uh, a polymer-based uh, protection, the, uh, the ceramic will protect, pr uh, protect the paint, but it's not going to protect itself. So you can still damage the ceramic coating, meaning you can get scratches, but you're protecting the paint from those scratches where it can be, it can be uh, removed and uh, reapplied with a new ceramic treatment. Yeah, I don't remember if I made a video about this, but um, I got some minor scratches on Optimus Prime, and it had ceramic, uh, they, it had the DTEC uh, Ceramic Ultra. Yes. And you guys were actually able to almost remove this, the, it was not, almost not visible. It was on one of the sides, I don't remember. Yeah, uh, so when, with Optimus Prime, we had it in for a control wash. Uh, there were some scratches, uh, you know, here and there. Uh, so what we did was we removed that existing coating and reapplied a new coating. Hmm, nice. And then, okay, over here also we had the, the incorrect color of touch-up paint. So now at least it's the correct color, but we are not going to fix this. Is Yeah, we, I guess we have a budget. But here at least it's been corrected. So, so again, looking from, from a distance, you don't see it anymore. So they go, okay, there are some minor scratches. Wow, you guys were able to remove lo lots of these, these scraping, yeah. Yes, so, so the bumper is plastic, so it, it, there's a limited amount of uh, um, scratch removal we can do before you actually melt the plastic. Uh, so we couldn't really go deeper into it, but it turned out pretty good. Wow, yeah, I mean, I uh, call me weird, but I, I, I like rubbing the paint. <laughs> yeah. It feels so good, so yeah. smooth now. Wow. And then on this side, you guys also did something here, right? Or? Uh, yeah, we did a taillight restoration as well. Oh, this, this part here? Uh, all the, yeah, all the taillights have been restored. They were pretty uh, scratched and faded. So also the polishing the stuff, right? On it. Yes. Huh. Yeah, I, I have to look on the previous shots, but they were probably also... The, the, like right, I mean, plastic. touching the charger port. Oh, yeah. Daily, almost. Or oh, it's so smooth now. Yeah. Huh. Just look how shiny <laughs> Millennium Falcon is right now. <laughs> wow. And then this side didn't have any damage, if I remember correctly. Or was it one... No, I don't remember. I... You had uh, under the taillight there. Um, there was some... Something here. Oh, well, the dark one is gone. It's, it, it, yeah, it's almost gone. <laughs> well, I can't see it. Right. <laughs> um, over here, well, I should just show you that 
this one is still, I mean, it's metal, so there will still be some micro scratches, swirls. Yeah, so. we did try to polish it, um, but it will not get better than that. I even tried to do a PPF uh, film uh, to see if that would help a little bit, but uh, unfortunately uh, it didn't. Yeah, but that's a little bit of wear tear we, we need to have on it. Right. So now Double G, the Lithuanian, he's gonna explain more about the interior. He is the expert in the interior. So, um, man, okay, I have to show you guys. This is, this is almost unreal. And that smell, but there was some, there was starting to crack around here. And it looks so much better now. And the, the Alcantara, okay, it's been clean. It feels a little bit weird, but I mean, nothing lasts forever. But it looks so much better now. And it feels so much better. It was just so greasy and so slippery. And now it has that, that slight friction that you're supposed to have when the car was new. So <laughs> just show you guys here. It, it almost looks like, almost looks like when the, when the car was new and I picked it up in November 2013. Holy guacamole. And then this part, has been fixed. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, so uh, unfortunately we ran out of time to do all of the things, so at least we prevent it from tearing. Uh, there's a certain levels that you can uh, have a better finish, match the grain, but uh, that's something that uh, maybe can be done on another video if, uh, if you guys come back, but at least we prevent it from tearing. Nice, and just it's not that visible anymore. So it's a very common problem <laughs> for modern It gives that peace of mind uh, when, when you get in and get out of the car. Mm -hmm. And of course, interior has been uh, thoroughly cleaned. Uh, we uh, re-sprayed uh, in the areas where it was necessary. Uh, we kept uh, environmental friendly. So it means that uh, where it was necessary, we repainted. And some areas, they just been uh, really well cleaned. And as I like to say, no animals were hurt in this video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I have to look at this thing with... Wow. This... <laughs> the steering wheel feels like brand new. This is... I remember when I picked up uh, Millennium Falcon, uh, that was over a month ago, recently, when I re bought it back. There were some scratches here. I don't know what happened, really. Uh, there were scratches on the steering wheel and you guys remember it was greasy and it was looking pretty old And now it looks almost like new and it's still the same steering wheel. You guys have me replace it, right? Uh, <laughs> it, it's all... Like I said, you know, we kept it environmental friendly and uh, we We used in areas where it's necessary. Uh, there was a few step process uh, we applied the grease remover first to get rid of all the schmutz, <laughs> <You're> schmutz. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, we followed with uh, primer and uh, pillars uh, to fill up the scratches and then it's just been resprayed with the Tesla, uh, Tesla color coat that matching the steering wheel. Wow, wow, this, this is awesome. And uh, I think you guys also cleaned the headline. You cleaned the whole car, basically, right? Huh? Yeah, whole interior has been uh, cleaned. Uh, we cleaned Alcantara, we disinfected it. So it killed all of the bacteria that provided smell. So... And also this seat, just show you, this is the passenger seat. It was in fairly good shape, but it's been even... Now it's in even better shape. And you guys stopped the tearing of the seat. Yeah, so we matched the, the right uh, color code for the paint. And uh, in the areas where we saw that it's starting to tear off, it's been uh, repainted, we feel the scratches. So you'll be able to feel those scratches, but that's uh, something that leather uh, got over time. But at least uh, it's uh, while you rubbing it or sitting, it's not gonna tear off. So it should last uh, many years to come. Hmm, nice, okay. Uh, now let's take a look. Well, this side has not, has it been fixed also? Yeah, it, it has, uh, it has uh, some small tear as well in here. So we uh, applied uh, some special uh, filler 
which is like a hard plastic, reacts with the heat and then it's been uh, repainted. But like I said, these are something that uh, we feel that we can do better, but that's something that uh, we just run out of time. Yeah, let's take a look at the back seats. So, let's see. The back seats were in fairly good uh, condition before, haven't used them that much. They've also been clean and treated, so they look nice. Yeah, you can feel it. But uh, let's see, there is uh, one... Oh yeah, it's damaged, or is it damaged on that side? A little bit, right? Yeah. That's uh, one right there, and that's exactly the same on another side. So this one, uh, we can come back some other day when we have better time. And we can fix this and prevent it from tearing further. And there is also one more on this side here. Uh, ooh, I, oh, I remember this. This was caused by me during Nimber task. Uh, it was some... I don't know what had happened here. You see, you can feel it. I'm going to show you. Yeah, look at this. Oh, it was something metal or something sharp that rubbed into the back seat. And... Uh, Double G. Yes. What do you think? Can we actually fix this? Yeah, that's something that can be fixed. We just have to uh, remove uh, those uh, rough edges around there. And then we're going to fill up with, uh, with a special filler. And then uh, we're going to follow the procedure that's called uh, matching the grain. So that means like uh, when you put a filler, it has like a flat part to it. But uh, with our process, uh, we're able to recreate the structure of the material. So once you repaint it, you see the one uh, uniform uh, grain instead of something like flat in the area where it's been repaired. So that's something we definitely can, uh, can do on uh, another time. Hmm. Right, great. That was pretty awesome. Uh, the last, there was one thing that we didn't show that uh, wasn't shown in the, in the videos earlier, which is the, the cleaning of the interior, because uh, you have to, well, you have to also physically rub the interior, right? Correct. So there's, there's, there's a difference between uh, cleaning and disinfecting. So the first thing you have to do is to clean the interior, uh, rub down all the uh, um, surfaces, headliners, carpets, once that's done, that's when you can disinfect. So uh, disinfecting without cleaning at first has very little effect. Um, so we use something called Oxine Pro, which is a stabilized chlorine dioxide. Um, it's activated and it basically produces a gas which will penetrate all areas of the car. This can be used in a fogger, for example, or you could place it in a cup and leave it overnight in the car. So uh, the gas will penetrate every area of the car and it will disinfect it. And you, uh, other people mentioned that if you use the ozone cleaning. Yeah, so, the, uh, so oxygen, for example, is non-corrosive. It's pH neutral. Uh, a ozone generator is one of the is one of the most corrosive uh, products you can use in a car. It will uh, make plastic brittle. It'll destroy your interior over time. So leather it's also. not something leather, everything. I would, it's not something I would recommend over uh, several times doing it. I would, um, I would use something like this, which is way more effective and safer. Hmm. Well, this is awesome, man. So. It sounds like you guys really, you guys know what you're doing. You do, took really good care of Milan the Falcon. And he just looks so nice now. So I have to say, uh, Double J is sitting over there and Kim and the rest of the team. Awesome job. Thank you. <laughs> and I think one last thing now is that um, Kim told me that we have to take Milan the Falcon out in the sun and check it out now. So that's, yeah, well, let's, let's check it out. We are outside now and holy guacamole! Melina Falcon looks good <laughs> out in the sun. <laughs> wow! 
Huh? You like this shit? Do you like this shit? Oh yeah, I should mention also, I'm using, well, this is Frigus EV Ice 3 studless winter tires from Mega Yule, and I also use Saks Turbine 18 inch wheels. They look like the, the Tesla Turbine wheels. I like them, I like 18 inch. Oh, sorry, this is not 18 I forgot, is it Tesla more or less? 19 inch, this is 19 inch. Because normally if you get buy from Tesla, you can only get the 21 inch in this Turbine style. But, man. Just look at this. Oh, it's so smooth because of the ceramic pro coating. And also, yeah, once you wash the car now, it will be just M MC Hammer. The schmutz won't stick that easily. And once you just high pressure it with cold water, without soap, you can clean most of it with it. I noticed that when I, when I started cleaning MC Hammer with this, that was a different one. It was um, ceramic pro. It was so much easier to clean it. And then once I borrow a press car, it was like, what the heck? It won't, it sticks. So, <laughs> wow. So that the liquid it from all angles here. Man, <laughs> it's like getting a new car. Huh? It's like getting a new car. Okay, so it's getting cloudy now. You can see also when it's cloudy. Whew. But the story with uh, Millennium Falcon's repair is not over. You can see actually, uh, there's something, there's a little bit of slight leakage in the air suspension. Not the, not the problem really, but it should be fixed before it becomes too big of a problem. <laughs> wow. So, okay. As for pricing, uh, the, we went for the whole package. So it, it will cost around 35 to 40 K nook. So let's say, 3,500 euros, which is quite pricey if you add up with all the other repairs we did. But my, my idea of this is that we will do all of it. The repairs, the restoration of leather, whatever. And this might be a kind of extreme, extreme case, but most people, they only need to maybe refresh the steering wheel and the leather and they do a little bit of it. But because I'm making a video, I show you guys all of it and then you of course you can choose which which one to go for and if you go to pit stop build player i can link to the website uh, you can also contact them and they will customize individually what you want to fix and then you also get a custom price for it uh, so again a big shout out to mr green who's paying the bill <laughs> because to be honest if i bought this privately I wouldn't do the full restoration. Again, we are just showing you guys what is possible. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, but I also mentioned, yeah. The story with Millennium Falcon is still not done. We still have some minor things. Well, actually, yeah, stuff we have to do. But this time we will not go back to BLX Partner. We will go to EV Services in Bergen because they, they are really the ninjas. They can I think there might be something wrong with the onboard charger. That's really, you need deep knowledge. And those guys at EV services, they know their shit. They used to work at uh, Tesla, uh, being like technicians and stuff, not just working on the floor, you know? So, wow. <laughs> what do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think about Milena Falcon? <laughs> I, I'm just smiling now. I, so, uh, do you guys think it's worth it? Do you guys consider doing it? I think it's worth it, but if I had to pay myself, I would probably choose a little bit lower package or something and maybe opt out some of it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.